Alnet News Digest, 5th of January 3307. We read the news so you don't have to. In this week's news. Prime Minister accused of provoking Thargoids. The Lacon Ninja. Cannon's New Year shopping list. Premature congratulations in Fuelham. Prime Minister accused of provoking Thargoids. Following a surprise Thargoid incursion into Nine Systems last week, slow and steady progress is being made in driving the alien menace back. Six systems in the Witchhead Nebula and three in the Colsack Nebula suffered Thargoid incursions. The Thargoid presence has already been significantly reduced in several of the systems, with the Muska Dark Region PJ-P B6-1 the first to be cleared out. But the Thargoids appear to be more resilient than previously, and it seems likely that they will not be completely driven out of all systems by Thursday, which may result in an escalation in their presence. The Anti-Xeno Initiative and the Post-Disaster Evacuation Service are in attendance in all systems, and Operation Ida is standing by to start repairing stations once the incursions conclude. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Mahon has come under attack from other Prime Ministerial candidates for his expansionist policies and his exploitation of Thargoid resources, which some see as the cause of the recent backlash by Thargoid forces. And there's confusion over Utopia leader Pranav Antal's invitation for the leaders of the three superpowers to get together for a good old chinwag to discuss Thargoids, Marlinists and not attacking each other. When there are terrorists about getting all the superpower leaders together in a single starport, seems a sensible thing to do, right? The Lake on Ninja So, it has finally happened. Lacon's board, stuffed with recent appointees, has accepted the bid from Core Dynamics Jupiter Rochester. If the regulatory approval is gained, in March, Lacon Spaceways will join surface vehicle manufacturer Vodal in becoming a wholly owned subsidiary of Core Dynamics. But why is Core Dynamics interested in buying Lacon? Why would the manufacturer of a triumphant range of designs, including the Eagle, the Vulture, the Corvette, the Assault Ship, the Dropship and the Gunship be interested in a ship manufacturer whose only offerings include such poorly designed and unappreciated ships as the Asp Explorer, the Diamondback Explorer, the Type 6 and Type 7, the Type 9 Heavy, uh, the Type 10 Defender, the Challenger, Chieftain, the Crusader and a few others. There must be an ulterior motive. And, of course, that motive is the other Lacon ships, the ships that no one talks about, because they're the best stealth ships in the galaxy, so stealthy that no one even knows they exist. The Type 5 Ninja and the Type 8 Shadow are believed to have a feature list including, well, well no one's quite sure what they include because no information exists about them, but they're jolly hard to spot on the radar and no one has ever seen one. Some say they employ a Romulan cloaking technology. There are rumours Jasmina Halsey flies them when she heads off to visit the real caretakers of our galaxy, and no one even notices she's left her desk. And now, Core Dynamics CEO Jupiter Rochester is about to find out the secret. Will the Alliance government step in to rescue Lacon at the very last minute, or is the secret of the ninja and the shadow about to become public knowledge. Canon's New Year Shopping List In the wake of the discovery of a brand new species, the globe mollusk, that was discovered at the very end of 3306, the bungling boffins of Canon Interstellar Research have compiled a list of all the mysteries of the galaxy, of all the wonders that haven't yet been found. It's a long list. A very long list. Things that haven't yet been found include Chirulium Lagrange storm clouds. We know about the ordinary sort, but not the ones with storms in them. 
We haven't found a Blatteum octahedral pod yet, nor one of the types of collared pod that we think should exist. We found Lindigoticum and Punicium astropods, but we have not yet found the corresponding trees. Similarly, we have found four varieties of chalice pod, but no trees of these species at all. We've discovered a mishmash of peduncle trees and pods. We find both the Chiruleum peduncle tree and its pod, but we have found the trees, and not the pods, of the Albidum, Ostrinum, Rubellum, and Viridae varieties, and the pods, but not the trees, of the Candidum, Gypsium, and Purpurium varieties. We have the Aurarium gyre tree and pod, but only the tree of the Viridis sort, and only the pod of the Roseum sort. And so the list goes on. There are not yet discovered Taurus mollusks, Squid mollusk, Bullet and Bell mollusks. There are anomaly types. The K09, the T03, the L02, the L07, the P06 and P11 anomalies are all believed to exist, but have not yet been found. Canon is also on the lookout for planets that collide, or better still, contact binary planets, two planets or moons that are permanently in contact, orbiting their parent body, holding metaphorical hands. Finally, Canon is still trying to find a way into the permit-locked HIP-22460 system, a system that almost certainly holds a Thargoid surface site and is also the place where the black flight megaship the Overlook disappeared. It may be that the Pleiades Resource Enterprise can issue permits for the system, but the means to get them to do this has not, as yet, been found. So there's plenty for the Boffin Boys to be getting on with. Premature congratulations in Fulham. The fuel rats aren't going to let facts get in the way of a party and they're celebrating their 100,000th rescue in style. Even though they've only rescued a little over 98,000 clients so far. They have announced the winners of the designer poster to celebrate our 100,000th rescue competition. And the Buckyball Racing Club had announced the Sidewinder Fuel Finder race, also known as the Rat Finder Seven Sisters race, also known as the Rats Endurance Rally. You start at Artemis Lodge in Seleno with a 2A frameshift drive and a stock Sidewinder, no fuel scoop. You can sell modules, but you can't add anything except the FSD until you get back to the bubble at Ngalia, at which point you can add any modules you like and get yourself to the finish line at Walheim Visions in Fulham as fast as you can. The tricky bit is finding a route back from the Pleiades that will allow you to refuel at stations before you run out of fuel and have to call the fuel rats. And if you do have to call the fuel rats, you'll be helping them towards their 100,000th rescue they're already busy celebrating. And that's this week's Galnet News. Galnet News. We read the news so you don't have to. <laughs> 